In this week's video, I'm going to show you how I put together, built, and fabricated this custom three level TV stand. So let's get into it. All right, so this weekend, I'm finally going to finish up my new entertainment stand build that I had. Um, did a lot of it off camera just because it's pretty similar if you've watched my computer stand build. Um, not much different from there, but you can see that we, were, we had solid vertical supports. And then we cut our horizontal pieces and weld those to that to make a three shelf system. And the reason I've waited so long to do this is because I was kind of on the fence about using the old uh, upright to hold the TV that was on the stand that I initially had. But because, I don't know if it's hard to see here, but we'll see if I can wiggle a little bit. You can see that there's quite a bit of play in this joint right here. And because of that, I knew that if I designed it to use the existing one in a year or two, it's probably going to wear down and break to the point where I have to build a new one anyway. So I had to special order some 2 by one tubing. And that finally came in. So we are going to build a new one of these vertical uprights. Make some mounting brackets for it at the very bottom, the top, and then some mounting brackets for the part of it that holds the TV. And then we're going to weld it to the back of this. The other thing that I'm going to do is that I got a little bit of a start on it already, but you can see on top I have something in all four corners. And I need to do that for the other two rows as well. And these are going to hold the pieces of wood I put in there. So right now I just have three quarter inch plywood I'm going to put in here for the shelves. And depending on how much those flex, I also made a few tabs to sit in the middle to stick out of the shelves. And the nice thing about this is that this is one inch square tubing. This is a quarter inch plate. And then I have a three quarter inch piece of plywood that goes in here. So it will be flush to the top on each level that I do this with. So uh, I guess the only other thing to touch that if you haven't seen my other computer desk builds that I've been working on is that the bottom here I use uh, carriage bolts and I welded a nut inside of there so I have adjustable leg for the feet. So other than that, we just need to finish up this new piece that I need to work on, build a few brackets, weld them up, tack them up, and uh, get the pieces of wood cut to size and we should be good to go. So let's see how this turns out. Alright, so I'm just giving it the eye test real quick and it looks like it's pretty close. So one of the things I did with these brackets just to help me out is that I know that the surface that I set these on is never going to be perfectly square. So to make sure that this always looks like it's perfectly perpendicular to the top of this TV stand, I over drilled the bolt holes so that you can see here I got a little bit of wiggle back and forth to make it look absolutely perfect when we put the TV on there. So I like the placement of the brackets. I'm going to go ahead and weld those brackets on. Then we're going to figure out how to mount that um, frame from the existing TV that a TV stand that I had onto this, so it'll hold the TV. And then we will finish putting these 45 degree angles in there, and we'll have this project done. So stay tuned. <music> Thank you. 
So here's the finished product. You can see it uh, came out really good. So um, these are three quarter inch pieces of particle board. And you can see that from the tabs that I welded underneath in the corners and in the middle here, what that allowed me to do is take these three quarter pieces of particle board and they sit flush to the top of the table, which is the look I was going for. Um, overall super happy with the build came out really good everything's nice and square and you can see that because my f floor drips just a little bit towards the center of the room I have my adjustable height feet elevated in the front compared to the back which allows me to have this stand slightly tipped back towards the wall making sure that my TV is going to be safe and Compared to the other video that I showed you with the old one, I mean this thing is rock solid. So nice TV stand that's going to last me a long time. And if you guys have any questions or comments or would like to have some prints for this TV stand that I built, uh, please let me know. And we'll hope to see you in the next video.